So now in this video, we have an LED that's always gonna be on as long as we got the power supply on, but we have a switch here. So right now, current's just going through one resistor, 1000 ohm resistor, and the LED has approximately seven milliamps of current flowing through it because we're using uh, nine volts. When I press the switch, you should be able to tell that the LED is getting uh, brighter there. Um, we could use a higher value resistor there so it's dimmer, so that you could tell it's getting uh, brighter easier. But in uh, any case, you can also see the current go up there. It's basically double the current because we also have a 1000 ohm resistor. Uh, so when we close the switch, current flows through both uh, resistors as if the other one doesn't exist. And then their currents combine. So you end up with twice the current through the LED. And here is a closer look. So we got the one 1000 ohm resistor right there. That's always going to pass current as long as power is applied, as we said before. We could go higher so that this is pretty dim because you can really easily tell that is lit up. And then we press the switch, it gets brighter because we got the positive supply there to the top of the switch. Now it's open so it's not connected, but down there we got another 1000 ohm uh, resistor right there and uh, it gets uh, brighter. So power supply said 13 milliamps of current, um, but it's probably closer to 14 milliamps of current. It's not as accurate as a multimeter, and it might have been a spec lower, but you can see that there. So in any case, uh, the main thing is here we have uh, two resistances. So when the switch is open, we got 1000 ohms of resistance. When we close the switch, then we get twice the current, which is equivalent to half the resistance. So this is like 500 ohms of resistance right there. So a practical circuit, you probably wouldn't use a push button switch for something like this. You might have a sensor or something that turns on or off a transistor switch or uh, something else. Um, but the principle would be the same right there. This is the simple version. So in any case, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out all the links down below. They'll help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.